10 sex facts or fiction. I'm so excited to talk about sex. Are you a sperm? <laughs> Are you a sperm? Are you chasing me? <laughs> like I'm the egg, you're the sperm. Uh, Come get that. me, bitch. Yes. <laughs> I want to be desired. Hello, my loves. Welcome back to Love Bites by Dr. Tara podcast, where we talk about all things sex, love, relationship. And today with us is, I would say currently like the most famous comedian. Wow. I world. wouldn't say that. I wouldn't <laughs> Jenny say that. Yang. <laughs> Jenny Yang is a TV writer, comedian, actress, and New York Magazine's comedian to watch. Thank you. Watch me. Yeah, I'm watching. Thanks for having me. Of course. I'm so excited to talk about sex. Sex. Do you talk about sex in your skits? In my skits, my little onstage skits. <laughs> yes. Um, I I do sometimes, not okay. really. I talk more about dating and relationships. Okay. Yeah. And and dating, you're not doing because you're. I'm dating my fiance. That's right. That's right. And how long has it been? <laughs> that's what. It, that's the. That's the face I make. Yeah. I have to look to the camera. This is a face I'm ah. Because I didn't know I didn't know I would ever get engaged, truly. <gasps> Why not? Because I grew up not like, oh my God, I'm gonna like have a white picket fence and No. None of that. No. What was your dream growing up? Because you know like a lot of girls were brainwashed to dream about getting married. I was not brainwashed. Listen, yeah. when you grow up with a role model of my parents, yeah. you don't want to recreate <laughs> you don't want to recreate that. Well, what happened? No, they just don't they just didn't have a happy marriage. Oh, they distant. So yeah, if you don't have like happy parents right why would you want to recreate that a lot of gen z's uh in quite a few research show that they are not desiring marriage because no. they have seen too many like divorces i i i, I would agree with that i yeah. feel like i also am obsessed with gen z and yeah, I how, am too. And, and like reading like demographic <laughs> reports and i'm obsessed with the fact that they're not having as much sex as older generations back at their age that's so interesting did you know this Yes, but here's some uh, some more insights into that. So the the data that a lot of people quote about Gen Z is not having a lot of sex or not having sex as much as previous generation. Uh, I believe that data was collected right after COVID. So okay, I don't think fair. anybody is having sex <laughs> at that's that point. Fair. But they were collecting data from Gen Zs. So it's interesting, but. I, you know, I teach Gen Zs. So, like, I'm a yes. professor at Cal State Fullerton, and I interact with Gen Zs, like, every day. And They're they fucking. are having sex. They're fucking. Yeah. Okay. All right. I'll, I'll <laughs> they are you. having sex. They are dating. They, they're... They're still the majority are still looking for monogamous relationships, but yeah. there are some that are interested in like polyamorous relationships, yes. some uh, other type of like non monogamy, but the majority are still kind of looking for their like true love. Dr. Tara, <laughs> this is thank you for giving context to the data. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> I love it. I was so fascinated with you because I'm like, number one, oh, she Asian and she a doctor? What? But she's a doctor of sex? I was like, this is incredible. You get to like make yourself happy and your parents happy. Your parents still get to call you a doctor. This is incredible. <laughs> yeah. That, I never thought about it in that way because they, they tell people that I have a PhD, that I'm Dr. Tara, but they don't say what subject. Because <laughs> they're like, I'm proud to have, I'm proud about her only half, the first half. Classic. Yeah. But listen, you gave, you, you, you gave them one and you took yours. I gave them okay? the degree, the paper. Right. Yes. And then you, and then you take back what's yours which is your life, take which back is your my happiness. multiple orgasms. Your orgasms and your happiness. I had one this morning. You did? God, yeah. you know, in your honor, I should have had one this morning. You should have. Dang it. After I'm this, offended. Immediately after this, Corey. I'm going to my car. <laughs> it's gonna. It's out in public, but there's. I'm going to check to make sure there's no cops around. I'm pretty sure it's um, safe and legal in your car because it's your property. Is that right? But then there's open... Uh, I don't know. I'm I don't not, know. I'm not a cop. We don't know that. I'm not, <laughs> I'm not a cop either, just, despite other people's thoughts okay, about my Okay, if you're vibe. listening or watching and you're a cop, can you let us know <laughs> if we can or cannot have sex in the car? Because it's our property. But then, like, the windows are open. Yeah, it's like... In terms indecency. of clear. It's indecency. Yeah. Listen. Well, I don't know. Okay, so <laughs> today's episode yes. is 10 sex facts or fiction. Ooh, I love facts and fiction. And I'm going to have you guess. Okay. Okay. Ooh, it's like a test. Yes. I used to be <laughs> good at Tara. I used to be good at tests. You Asian, you better be good at tests. Man, ooh, <laughs> I wonder what it's like to be your student. Oh, orgasmic. <laughs> oh my God. It's like, it must be so distracting because you're like hot and then, right? Like, I feel like I'm asking your- My assistant, yes, assistant, who was my student. Was, like, <laughs> when a doctor, a doctor, when a, when a doctor or a professor is hot, I'm just like- like, what's why learning? are you here? Yeah, what's learning? What? Notes? What? Okay. 
<laughs> well, I teach about human sexuality too, so it's like it's 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 a vibe. It's a vibe. No, you keep it professional, I'm sure. I keep it very professional. Yes. Yes. Okay, so ready for facts and fiction. And if you're watching or listening, please play this with us, okay? It's a game and if you want to like pull your friends together and play this game together, it can even be like a drinking game or if you're sober, maybe a juice drinking game. <laughs> <laughs> yes. But try guess if it's fact or fiction, okay? So number 1, some people can orgasm just from thinking. True. Why did you answer that so fast? Because I once heard a story about two Holocaust survivors who were gay, <laughs> who like couldn't stop? touch each other and they like got off. What? I Please, someone, <laughs> Can someone on the internet check? fact check this because I, I, I'm like, am I imagining this? But like, I had that in my head for so many years. Like, yes. I like heard that story. Yeah. That like, you can like turn yourself on and orgasm yes. without touching. So listen, the power of the human mind. We are we're we're complex, and I think the mind is like we only know ten percent or less. Thank you like, about our brain. So it's yes. like, what else is is it capable of? Yeah, I don't know. And it, I think, I believe it's capable of orgasm without orgasm touching. Orgasm hand-free. Yeah, so, okay. So that is true. It's right. facts. Ugh. There are multiple counts of people saying that they're able to do it. And personally, I went to this transcendental meditation yeah. uh, retreat. And a part of it is this box breathing. And it's like a long time, like 30 minutes of box breathing. Like What's box breathing? A lot of like, oh, breathing in and breathing out, like hard. like So that your box will get generated too? <laughs> All the boxes are going to be don't stimulated. Think it came from that, but <laughs> box breathing. My box was my <laughs> box was activated. Was it? So I came like I I felt like all kinds of things and I got chills. I believe that just like an orgasm. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And actually, there are um, many counts of tantric practitioners mm -hmm. like tantra, tantric sex, yeah, that are able to have orgasms through like eye contact or how powerful is that just yeah. eye contact yeah oh my God. are you and your fiance gonna try tonight no <laughs> i like being touched <laughs> is that one of your love languages yes for sure because i grew up without a very touchy household because mm -hmm. we east asian mm -hmm. you know yeah and like, so no touch for you yeah <laughs> i know even though my parents didn't speak english so it's like woman well, pony it's like <laughs> no touch for you <laughs> translation <laughs> Yeah, and so I feel like once I realized the power of like not even non-sexual touch, yeah. I'm like, oh, this is so nice. Just a hug to comfort me. So this is incredible. Hugs give you oxytocin. Yeah. And it's like free. I so love it. why don't we all just hug? Like I love yes. cultures that hug yes. and say hi That's, because it's like free drugs. I agree. <laughs> I agree. And I, I learned that because I did a study abroad in Chile. Oh. And then, you know, the Latin American countries, they, they always hug. You, yeah. You can't just leave a group not going around being like, mwah, mwah, oh. mwah, you know, and it to Americans, it feels like too much. you shake hands. Or you Americans. just say wave bye to yeah, the group. Bye. Right? Or but you, no, yeah, bye. no, there it's like every single person. You got you to gotta say goodbye to them. So it's like every time you hug someone, you get free Molly. Ooh, that's what I, I like that. <laughs> right? Like uh, it gives you like the oxytocin, dopamine, serotonin. Yeah, so yes. like might as well hug everybody. You don't need drugs. You just need hugs. <gasps> that's my new PSA anti-drug t-shirt brand. Hugs, <laughs> hugs, not drugs. I think that's taken, but you can oh, still fuck. make your own. Oh, okay. Well, <laughs> um, assistant, <laughs> Victoria, can you please write this down? Hugs, hugs not, not drugs. drugs. Killing yep. it. Okay, number two. Humans are the only species to have sex face to face. I don't believe that. That's false. Why do you say that? Because there must be there must be another species that has the spinal capability, <laughs> you know, to, to have know, sex face to face. But you know, a lot of animals have sex in the back, like they do. Yeah. You're right. You know what? I don't know. So, I'm, but I I say it's false. Okay, it is fiction. Oh. Is that correct? That means I'm right. Correct. It's false. So who, who else does bonobos like our our cousins? Our cousins bonobos and orangutans. They can have sex face. -to -face. They have missionary sex. Listen, they're smart, you know, and they're <laughs> yeah. like they want to eye connect. They want to look each other in the eyes. Be like, and ooh. Go, ooh, ooh, ooh. I bet you they can have tantric sex be sex because of it. Ooh, right? Because that's you a good can theory. because of the eyes and the right. Do you the, think the orangutans energy? have tantric sex? I want them to. <laughs> I want as many animals in the animal kingdom. Have to you have ever seen sex. orangutan balls? No. Is it really big? Yeah, they got big balls. That's exciting. <laughs> it's fun fact. <laughs> and another thing is, uh, bonobos. They have sex for pleasure because almost yeah. all animals, like ninety nine percent, they have sex for procreation. Right. But not bonobos. They just fuck. 
Yeah. I feel like um, maybe dolphins have sex for pleasure. Yes, they do. Right, because they're very smart. Yeah. 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 I love same. dolphins. Ever since I moved to the beach, I've seen dolphins like five times. Oh. And they're always in a group. I love that. Yeah. And I love that they like have fun and they just have pleasure and they have casual sex. Like no big deal. They do. Yeah. I know. I used to not be able to have casual sex. And then you had casual sex? And then I realized I could. <laughs> like, do you know what I'm saying? Like there's some of Through, us. How did you realize? I feel like when you're like a grow up, like a good girl. You know, yeah. there's like certain parts of you that are just kind of closed off or afraid. Your identity is or, like, I don't, I'm the, I'm the person that don't have casual sex. Or it's more about like, I felt like emotionally I'll get too attached. Do you mm, know what I'm saying? Yeah. And that ha still happens to a lot of women. Yes. Yeah. And it's not like it's impossible to happen after I decided to start having casual sex. But when I decided to start having casual sex, I was like, this is great. Why did I not start sooner? Exactly. <laughs> I had other intimacy issues that I had to deal with before I started having <laughs> well, casual sex. Well, we can talk about that all, all day long. Another episode is just me giving you a sex therapy. Oh, yeah. That would be great. But then it wouldn't be a bite. Then it would be a big chunk. <laughs> love it, chunk. It would be a love chunk. <laughs> <laughs> Talking about sex, safer sex is the most important because when you are not having safer sex, you're thinking about safety. You're thinking about STIs. You're thinking about whether or not the, the other person is comfortable. So I want to talk about my one condoms. My One Condoms is this brand that does custom condoms. They have over 52 sizes. 52. Have you heard of a condom brand that have 52 different sizes? There's no there's no bras that are that many. <laughs> no, sizes. not even bras. Oh but, my god. But condoms, hell yeah. So my one condoms does con custom condoms and they give you this measuring tape uh, that you can also get from the website, a link in the description, where you'll get this measuring thing. You can measure the length. Oh. And then you can measure the girth. <gasps> How do we know? Oh, oh it tells the it it will tells tell the you. So the length is like one of these letters. Oh, length know. is letters? Yes. Length is letters in the back. And then girth uh, is these numbers. So like you do this. Oh, and then the measuring and then you line know is your here. Girth. <gasps> yep. And then you order exactly your size. So it fits you like perfectly like a custom suit. I love this tool as something where if you're just having sex for the first time casually with someone, you just bust this out. Yeah, like, <laughs> hey, listen. Not intimidating <laughs> at all. <laughs> no, not at all. And also, I mean, if you're dating and you're having sex with people and yeah. you're, you know, not trying to get pregnant, I think the best way to go is to have custom condoms that you order um, online on My One Condoms. And how attractive is it that the person you're sleeping with is like, it's okay, baby girl. I have a condom. I care about your safety. Oh, it's so hot. And it's custom just for my dick. And they'd be open to like <laughs> using this. That's yeah. even hotter. Isn't that's that That's a hot? confident, I... self-possessed, you know, penis owner. Yes. I love it. I love it. But also because My One Condoms is a part of One Condoms, the company. So One Condoms also make One Flex. So One Flex is like skin on skin feel. Oh. Um, this only has one size though. This is graphene. It's graphene condom and it's skin on skin feel. It has 85% better body heat transfer. Ooh, love a body heat. Yeah, love a body too. heat. Because that's part of the experience. Totally. And I think a lot of people's criticism about condom is like it's such a rubbery feeling. And yeah. you don't feel the the cock. <laughs> you that's know? right. Just yeah. want a hot cock. You want the hot cock. <laughs> the the hot HC. Cock. <laughs> so um this is like basically the newest technology that you can check out on one condom. So I'll have both links. One condoms for skin on skin feel or my one condoms for the 52 different sizes, custom condoms, in the link in the description. <laughs> I love how obsessed you are with this measuring tape. You're it's just so fun to think about using this on someone. I just feel like how to. do you set it up? You know what I mean? How do you approach someone to be like Listen, I yeah. care about our I safe sex. <laughs> <laughs> let me measure you. Use it with your fiance and let me know how that goes. Okay. <laughs> okay, number three. Yeah. The average person burns about 50 calories during sex. True, false. 50 calories. That, that, that seems about right. Uh, oh, it's wrong? It's fiction. Oh. People burn about 100 to 150 Ooh, calories. It's more active. You're right. Yeah. I feel like that's right. You're breathing a little harder. Right. I, I lay there. You're moving a lot. Yeah, okay. So yours might so be 50 calories. So I'm cal minus, <laughs> <laughs> maybe minus 50. Maybe 30. <laughs> <laughs> maybe 30. Yeah. Listen, my basal but, heart rate is very low. But, you know, your partner that's like working. Yeah, yeah. That's, that's 100 calories. You know, the uh, 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 uh. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Next is certain foods uh -huh. like oysters are aphrodisiacs. That's false. 
It's just cultural. I feel like that's like a cultural idea. Like, so if you believe it placebo wise, that it's an aphrodisiac, maybe it's true. But scientifically, I think it's false. Okay, I'm going to say this one is both fact and fiction. Oh, so I'm kind of correct on that? Kind of. Yeah, you you. get 0.5. Thank you. Okay, next. The world record for the furthest ejaculation is 18 feet 9 inch. No. 18 feet. Okay. I believe it. Yes. I I believe it. I believe it. Is is this one foot? This is one foot, right? Yeah. (laughs) This is one foot. Imagine 18. 18 of this. Um, I believe that that's true. There is a very strong propellant. Like, what within. would you have to do in order to ejaculate 18 feet? Like, this dude would impregnate any woman. Well, you, I feel like you need to have somewhat, like, just the right balance of wateriness to, like, juicy, That's like, true. to thickness. Because you want to have the, like, Ooh, physics you, of it. chemist. And then, right? And then you need to have enough of it. But, yeah, I feel like, and then you have to, like, hold it at a certain angle. It's very, I feel like it's like pole vaulting. Yeah. <laughs> right? It's very precise. Like, you gotta. It's precise. And also, like, 18 feet, 9 inches. I... Is that true, then? It is true. Yeah, okay, see. It's fact. I believe it. Okay, next. The women's record for most orgasm in an hour is eight times. No. You can have so many more orgasms in an hour. <laughs> Oh, damn. Hey, girl. I hear you. I see you. Listen. How many um, have you had in an hour? I haven't tried to like do as much, you know what I mean? Like it's, as it's many a as thing. possible. Like, you have to like, uh, it's like a, you have to you do have it. To be like, I'm, this is what I'm going to try to do. But it's, it's a completely false. You but can totally possible. have more than eight orgasms in an hour. Yeah. As a woman, especially. Yes. Right? So, so that's correct. That is correct. Oh, thank that you. That is correct. Listen, she's out here. The... <laughs> You're just a, st- a good student, huh? I am. Oh, do you like it? You're a good student? Yeah. You little slut? Oh, my God. Yeah. <laughs> Are you a good student? That you would be the role over. play dirty talk to work on me. A hundred percent. A good student. Oh, you, you got an really A. really want validation as an Asian, an I, Asian I just girl. want that Asian validation. <laughs> Asian validation. That's another t-shirt. That's another t-shirt. Uh, okay. You're right. It's fiction. Women can actually, cu- the, the, the world record yeah. is 134 times an oh, hour. Oh, I believe it. I believe it. I can't believe it. 134? Really? That, I mean, that's extreme. But like, like, if someone says, like, okay, solid, solid, 30, like, yes. 134? 60 an hour, one a minute. That's if you're really trying and you're really good at it. I believe it. So, therefore, if it's a world record, two a minute, that's so super. Minute, you're like, oh. Right? You're like, uh. <laughs> uh <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if they look like that though. <laughs> I'm exaggerating. I'm exaggerating. That's not how I have orgasms. I'm exaggerating. I'm going to ask your fiance if that's how you have orgasms. Okay. Okay. So, what about men? Can you guess their number? World record. Within an hour? Mm-hmm. World record? 60? Mm-hmm. 16. Okay. I've yeah. overestimated the power of men. No. <laughs> <laughs> don't we all um, but no because men has a lot of that like like that retract period like you have to wait for it to you know calm down and get hard again you're right so, so 16, 16 but that's still a lot that's I'm, still like, a lot no you're like right my dick would fall off yeah <laughs> i don't know okay number seven okay the clitoris has the same amount of nerve endings as the tip of the penis more it has more so it's false Wow, you have you taken this class? No, I've 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 just you know like to know about my body a and sex I, positive and person. I also you know like self care, self help stuff. So yeah. I like reading about stuff like this. Oh, I love yeah. it. Yeah. So your self care segment. Yeah, I do. I, I I've I've done a monthly show in Los Angeles called Self Help Me, a competitive self care comedy show, <laughs> and it's just my way to like be obsessed with, but also make fun of self care trends and wellness yes. trends because so many of these trends are things that your ancestors and my ancestors used to force feed us. Oh yeah, you know, but then at very low cost. But then now in Western capitalism, people mark it up and. They sell it, and it's a lot of skinny blonde girls. My mom used to do this cleanse where she eats only boiled cabbage. Oh, God. No salt, no soy sauce, no nothing. Just Is like that Thai, boiled though? Cab- I don't know. I don't know. I don't think that's Thai. But she, I don't know. She all, So she would go on this diet for two weeks where she only eats boiled cabbage and water. No, thank you. Yeah. My mom is also obsessed about like her like weight. Oh, Which okay. Then, so you know, gives me that weight trauma. Oh, I'm sorry about so, that. Thank you. But but in terms of self care, like a lot of the the remedies that get trend actually right. come from indigenous and yeah. like 
Eastern cultures, you know, but then what they mark it up. The, what, are, what are some of the funny self-care routines or techniques that you've talked about on your show? Oh God, everything. There's so many share, wild share things. Because thing, I'm like so curious, like what, what's a wild thing? Like putting period on your face like that? I mean, definitely there's, <laughs> you know, micro needling is already wild. It's like vampire facials, yeah. right? Um, where you're like causing actual puncturing harm on your skin. That's when you put needles in your face. Yes, but you but have it works. to do it with a professional. You okay? have to. If you're watching, listening, don't do it by yourself. But, you know, there's like people put different types of animals and insects on bodies thinking like that that'll do what things. What would they put on? I don't remember. Listen, <laughs> I, I wrote, we did 20 shows over two years. Oh my gosh. We wrote a new show every month. We covered everything from burnout to fitness to um, wow. generational trauma. I had the Joy Luck Club. I know, shout out to the Joy Luck Club. Yeah. People well, who that watched movie that movie. Old. It's old. But I, you know, the, the lovely daughters, yeah. I got, I had three of the four Joy Luck Club women on amazing. the show to talk about Go generational back. trauma. Yeah. I know. It was it was amazing. So, um, you know, I'm going to be probably converting that show now into a video and audio podcast. Amazing. It would yeah. be great. Self -help uh, talking me. about Joy Luck Club, uh, I will never forget the scene of the, the white boyfriend um, putting soy sauce in all of the grandma's food. We were all, we were <laughs> all just like, it was burned into our trauma, collective Asian <laughs> trauma seeing that. Yeah. Yeah, no, like, don't do don't, that. Yeah, just compliment. Just compliment. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so going back to the clitoris, having the same nerve endings as the tip of the penis. False. You are correct. Yeah, it's we got fiction. more. The truth is the clitoris, now new science has like confirmed 10,000 nerve endings plus. In addition, uh, beyond what, what no, the penis like, uh, has. Yeah, no, 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 no. The, the penis is about four to 5,000. Oh. The clitoris is 10 plus thousand. Wow, so yeah. at least twice. Yeah. Oh my goodness, so I believe like, that. Tiny but so strong and sensitive and just arousing and all the things. Yeah, that's why like She's I sometimes <laughs> I sometimes need a barrier between me and flesh to like if oh. I get stimulated or else it's too much. Do you enjoy oral sex? Oh my God, are you kidding me? Well, I don't know. Some people don't. You're right. When I was younger, I used to be more apologetic because like I'm like so like – Oh, it's taking so you long. You feel bad. You yeah. feel bad. I feel like that's a thing that's very common mm -hmm. when you're like raised as a woman. And when you're younger. Yeah. Like, you're but now, no, 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 no. I lo keep it going. Okay. Keep it going. Oh, you know who talks about that a lot? Megan Thee Stallion. Oh, yeah? Like about, yeah, men going down on her and like I love she that. won't, you can't stop until she comes. Yeah. No, I, I, love, a, I love a woman who knows her. Yeah, needs. and also like when she experiences pleasure, she's way more likely to desire uh, sex regularly with this person, yes. with the lover or the partner, versus if the sex isn't good. Yeah, and she's not experiencing any benefits from it. Why would people desire anything that doesn't give them any pleasure or benefits? I mean, listen, we've we've all had to suck it up. <laughs> Our our elders have had to suck it up and yes. not getting getting <laughs> orgasms. Okay. We're about elders, you're in a TV show. I, 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 yeah. Yeah. Tell us more. The Brother Son is on Netflix. It stars Michelle Yeoh, and I play an assassin. Do, I kick some ass. How does it feel to play an assassin? It's very powerful. I mean, my, my character is actually opposite of me. I'm very smiley. I'm yeah. like, I want to be welcoming to people, but my character is very like, Oh. Yeah, so she's a, she's a killer. She's a killer, and there's a reason why she's a killer. And acting with Michelle Yeoh, I oh, mean, crazy. If you're listening and watching, and you don't know Michelle Yeoh, she <laughs> won the Academy Awards, like Oscars, last yes. year. Yeah, from everything, everywhere, all at once. Yes. Yeah. And then she's also uh, the matriarch in Crazy Rich Asians. Yeah, and she's just like. Asian cinema she's, icon. Yeah. You know? Yeah, she she really is. She's mm -hmm. very iconic. So um, that's amazing. Thank that you. experience. Yeah. I mean, you know, you have to be present to act with someone, but when you step back, you're like, oh my God, what am I you even can't doing right now? During you can't. The scene. <laughs> no, you can't. You can't. You have to be present. Right. <laughs> wow. Okay. Next is Human sperm can live in the body up to five days. Oh, in the body that it gets deposited mm -hmm. in? I heard it's about that long. I've heard, I've heard five to seven, maybe. Fact or fiction? So fact. Correct. Oh, okay. Nice. Yes. Sperm is resilient. It is. It's the will to live. It's, <laughs> it's trying to live. Have you ever seen those like reproductive videos of sperm swimming? Yes. It swims 
far. Yeah, it has to get so far. It's so tiny. And like through a lot of like barriers. Yeah. A lot of like liquid and skin like barriers. It yeah. has to like wiggle its way through. I mean, that's the kind of energy I demand <laughs> from from a date. Okay? <laughs> Do you know what I mean? Are you a sperm? <laughs> Are you a sperm? Are you chasing me? <laughs> yeah, I don't date non-sperm people. Yeah. I, I only mean, date sperm personalities. Sperm personalities, they don't have to have sperm though. <laughs> that's true. Yeah. Only uh, sperm personalities. Yeah. Um, the tenacity, the resilience, yes. the the desire, the wanting something. You're going to the egg. I want you. Yeah. Like yeah. I'm the egg. You're the sperm. Uh, Come get that. me, bitch. Yes. <laughs> I want to be desired. Yeah. I think that is like such a huge epidemic of the world. Like talking about COVID, I think another epidemic of the world is the lack of desires in the world. I know. I would agree with that. Yeah. I feel like it's we would be happier people if we hugged each other more and if we allowed ourselves to seek pleasure consensually more. Yeah. I agree. Don't you think? Yeah, one hundred percent. Like yeah. embracing just human desires and yeah, um, doing it consensually, safely, but also you know focusing on the pleasure and the connection. Yes. Uh, rather than like all these meanings around having sex. And, I agree. Yeah. All the taboos of it. Right. All the like cultural weight of it. No, I think we work too hard. You know, we're we're all just out we here. We work too hard, Right man. in hustle culture. You know, that's why the Japanese businessmen invented karaoke. Like they needed an outlet. Like we need pleasure. We need relaxation. We need napping. We need Is peace. Is that how they invented karaoke? Yes. So Japanese businessmen I mean, invented it. They were there. I don't know if a Japanese businessman <laughs> invented Japanese it, but people. it was there to yeah, it was there to serve Japanese businessmen who would like work so hard all day and then just like have to like rage at night and like let out their emotions. Wow. The Japanese invented emojis. Like, why do you think we have emojis? It's like we need ways to express ourselves. Is this fact or fiction? Japanese Listen, people invented emoji. Me. Yeah. Because I'm so curious. I thought it was Steve Jobs. <laughs> oh, really? Yeah, no. Steve Jobs didn't invent everything. Listen. Oh, listen. <laughs> I can tell, like, in Japan, the culture itself, a lot of it is nonverbal. Yes. Right? It's it not is. spoken. It's, it's like you just look at someone and you're like, mm, you I know. know. <laughs> That's what, that's, they're, they're having orgasms with eyes. Yeah. Well, I'm sure or they not, are. not, because apparently Japan and Korea, a lot of people are not having sex and a lot of people are not having kids. Yeah. Low birth rate. Right. I mean, that's the thing. I feel like that's part of the pleasure thing. It's like, I feel like it's like a humanity cultural problem. Mm -hmm. It we're, is. Our, not having sex and not having kids means that like, <laughs> as a species, we're like, no more. You know right, what I mean? We're right. like, no more humans. Right. Because that's also like not an evolutionary benefit. No. So. No. So let's fix that. Yeah. I know. Let's let's make it. Desires. I would love that we all just had like our basic income and basic social services so that we didn't have to feel so stressed out. I and then know. And then we can all seek pleasure. I know. Come more. Work less, come more. That's another t-shirt. Work less, come more. <laughs> I like that. God, how many do we have now? So many. We have hugs, not drugs. Hugs, not drugs. Already taken, but you can also do it. Yes, I'm sure it's I'm not gonna, copyrighted. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> I didn't know you were familiar with um, hugs, not drugs. all of the <laughs> terms that are trademarked. Um, okay, next. Some women can orgasm from exercise. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that's true. How do you know that? Because your things are rubbing while you're moving, and and you don't know what you're rubbing. It could be your leggings. It could be the bike seat. You know, we don't know. We don't. Any kind of rubbing, even walking. Sometimes, if you if your labia is out of place, you could probably rub that <laughs> clit. Labia in a certain, out of place. Yeah, you? when just walking, that labia can rub that clit. Yeah, that's true. Listen, I'm not trying to say I have a big labia, <laughs> but I do How have a labia. I do have labias? a labia that's. <laughs> That's big enough that sometimes it needs to be managed. Are you uh, shaved, lasered, full bush, trim? Oh, just a just a tr a trim shave. Trim shave. Yeah. What about your boo? Trim. So somewhat trims. Yeah. It's trim. Mm -hmm. I think trimming is a uh, much more popular amongst men these days. I think so. However, when you watch porn, do you watch porn? Sometimes, sometimes, yeah. yeah, me too. When you watch porn, it's always men without any pubic hair. Well, they like just completely all completely shaved. They all look like dolphins and seals. I yeah. know everyone, the the men and With women, massive dicks that are. Yeah, it's just like, oh my god. Like, yeah, they're that's not an average size. Just so everyone knows. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay, but you are correct because. Okay. Women can come from exercise, but it does take a lot of like kind of focus and, you know, like contracting your vagina and like trying to feel it. I believe that. Yeah, but people yeah. can also come from corgasm. 
uh, from doing like sit ups. What? Yeah, I wish. <laughs> I know. Then it's like encourages you to do more sit-ups. I would, be, I would have Bella Hadid abs. Like Six-pack. If, if I was coming from Corgasm, but not me. But you, uh, there are accounts of people that have had Corgasms. Oh, okay. I believe that. Last one. Oh, okay. The average male erection contains enough blood to fill a wine glass. That feels right. Yeah, sure. <laughs> that feels right. Fact. What kind of erections have you seen? What kind of wine pours have you seen? <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> Y'all, you be paying $15 and these wine people are very stingy with that pour. It's L.A. I think yeah? it's an L.A. Yeah, is it thing. L.A.? I okay. feel like if you go to Midwest, they like give you a full glass. You go to like Cheesecake Factory in the Midwest, they're going to give you a yes, full glass. Yes, I love Cheesecake Factory. <laughs> <laughs> give me that we Cheesecake. We are not sponsored. <laughs> not sponsored, but listen, I invite you in case you want to sponsor me. What's the correct answer? The correct answer is 4.4 ounces. So wine glass is like 12. Yeah, okay. So it's yeah. just, it's under that. But okay. if you get a mini pour, that could be. Okay. Yeah. Sometimes I go to like a wine bar with friends and, you know, I'm not there yet. Like I'm not a, a full glass yet. Like if it was like 4 p.m., you right. know, like a pre, <laughs> pre happy hour. Yeah. Like I'll do like a mini glass. Yeah. Like an erection amount of glass. Erection glass. Yeah. yeah. Next time I'm going to say that. Yeah. And then they'll be like, why? Which one do you want? I'm like, oh, just the erection amount. And then they're like, why are you talking to me like this strange lady? (laughs) They're like, I'm calling 911. (laughs) You're like, "Um, excuse me, I'm Dr. Tara. Do you not know me? (laughs) Exactly. (laughs) Um, Okay, so from all these facts and fiction, I want you to share with me one thing about like dating or sex or relationship or even about you and then ask me if it's fact or fiction. (gasps) Oh. Oh, but I feel like you'll just know stuff. Mm. I might not. This is a, this is one that I think I know the answer to, but I feel like doesn't get talked about enough. <laughs> right, right, okay. When a woman squirts, it's pee. Fact or fiction? Half, half. <gasps> yeah. Okay, so tell me. Well, so there's liquids, like female ejaculation liquids that are from like the skin's glands. Yes. So, but it's also like if you're pushing your... Some pee um, can come out. Yes. Yeah, like when I squirt which squirting orgasm is like my favorite orgasm because i get the most like kind of bodily release right i feel the most relaxed afterwards it is it's both okay there you go fact and fiction i love that yeah yeah i feel like that it's like it gets confused right because people think it's all pee yeah and then they see like porn and then they're like oh but also if people didn't know pee is sterile yeah like people use pee to like sterilize things yeah like pee is Probably cleaner than your plastic water bottle that has sat in your car for 10 days in the sun. Ew. Because that has a ton of microplastics. I believe like, that. Your pee is probably more sterile than that. I love that. So yeah. listen, let Don't it rain. Don't be afraid of a little, yeah. Let it rain. I really, I love squirting. Do you, do you squirt? I have, yeah. <laughs> You're like, I, I have, have but you know, <laughs> now now it takes now it takes too much. I'm too practical <laughs> sometimes. I'm just like, we don't want to go there. How uh, long we, we should don't sex wanna... last for you? It depends. I feel like as I've gotten older in a relationship, I feel like, you know, it just, you just want to get in and get out sometimes. Yeah. yeah. So I have like three different sexual functions like okay. with my partner. Love that. It's like, is this a maintenance sex? So but, yeah. we can like maintain the relationship, feel close, feel accomplished. Yes. Uh, two is exploration sex. Ooh. So like spending time trying something new. Maybe yes. it's like trying handcuffs. Maybe it's like trying saying, saying like new dirty talk phrases. Maybe yeah. it's trying like um, ropes, like whatever it is. Yeah. So this is exploration. So it would take a little bit longer. And then lastly, it's like full connection sex, Ooh. which is kind of like a lot of like touchy feely looking at each other and then having slow sex, like slow right. penetrative sex. And then take take the time like not like pump 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 but like kind of just <laughs> moving hips yeah and then like um and then maybe like pause drink tea you know maybe continue. share a secret yeah <laughs> that could work sometimes i do that in london i don't do that in la no one smokes here well vape Every, like, oh i said secret vapes. share a secret oh, but, uh, not a cigarette. cigarette but listen you can also <laughs> share a cigarette we don't know what Everyone your connection in is smoke cigarettes. i know they I was, also, and they, oh, they call them f's which we shouldn't say. Yes. 
Can we say it? No. It's British. It. It's British. I know. But then the cunt it's is like also a British. Oh, love like, the they word say cunt, that all though. the time. <laughs> I know. Love the word cunt. Okay. What would be tips for you as someone who is engaged yeah. and, you know, lives in LA? Like, LA is a very hard place to date. So, like, what would be your tip for people that are single and are dating? Like, where do they find people? What should they be thinking about? What is their perspective in going into dates? I mean, I feel like I treated dating like a third job. Oh, Tr- truly, more. you know, it, it was important for me to like still have hope that I could find someone compatible. Yeah, you know what I mean. And so, and yeah, I put effort into it. I like got on the apps. How many apps were you on? Um, eventually, I- I've used all of them over yeah. the years, but eventually, I would usually like focus on two. You okay. know, but yeah, I would just allocate time to like go on first dates. Yeah, you know, that's and when then you really know, like, yeah, if there's chemistry, you can't yeah. be sitting at home texting thirty people for like a month. Yeah, I think nowadays though, I mean, do a phone call, do a Zoom, I don't yeah. know, FaceTime before you meet up because time is money. Going yeah. on a date is expensive sometimes, so if you're young, especially. And you don't have that money to go up, be going out all the time. I think you can be practical about it. I was I was trying to date for life partnership, yeah. and then if I immediately realized that like this person was not in the candidacy of life partnership, then I decide would they be a good casual fuck buddy yeah. type. So they, it was very either or. This is I'm talking about like more. You're if, evaluating like you're you're yeah. going on a date, first date. Yeah, and you can like. So research shows you can evaluate someone in seven seconds. Yes. So did you like? Did you feel that right away with the people you went on a date with? Yeah, I could tell if it was going to be and then you categorize them exactly, exactly. Like, but when I was younger, long term potential, yes, casual potential. I would I would no date potential. them differently, uh, exactly. But back in the day when I was younger, I would want to have a long term partnership, but not be so clear about it, mm. and then I would want to be, and then I would like be attracted to someone mm. and then still hang out with them and then try to like make it work into a partnership mm. when I should have seen the red flags and I should have left. Do you know 100%. what I'm saying? You got to be clear. And I think that helped me a lot when I, when I decided to like finally like be more casual with sex. It's because mm. internally I was able to know what I wanted yes. and be like, be able to kind of categorize the men. I think that's great. I think yeah. that's way more empowering. Yes. Like don't, don't have sex with like casual guys hoping it will turn into something Ugh. but also be honest about the people that want life partners and be intentional and date them really date them so yes. when you met your partner did you meet on an app we did and then like what was the first date like were you like hey like i'm looking for a long-term partnership um in our are we in, getting married or what in our profiles <laughs> we both expressed that we were looking for a long-term relationship okay. and then it was may of 2020 so oh, okay. we were just messaging for a while before we decided oh. to do anything. And then all of June, I decided, we decided to like be on Zoom. Okay. So we did Zoom dates. So this is early pandemic. We're not yeah. meeting up. You know, I, I am not that horny <laughs> for strange dick. I don't want to die. Okay. I didn't want to <laughs> die with COVID dick. Okay. COVID dick. No, 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 no. So yeah, um, it wasn't until like early July that we met in person. And then was and then. Just- Click, and then a click, and then we we clicked even when we were just talking. It was very, yeah. it was very honestly like getting to know befriending for a while before the physicality, yeah. which was really beautiful. Honestly, it was forced upon us by COVID, but when it happened and we met up in person, it was like after the first kind of awkward, you know, yeah. hanging out, and I oh. wanted to like see how he is and if he was respectful of my space. Because that's important, wow. right? Like, What do you mean by that? Um, just like you, you want someone who knows how to read the room, you know, yeah. who knows how to like socially be aware of like being respectful of someone do else. Do you take him to your Hollywood functions? I do, yeah. He's great at that. Yeah? Yeah, and, oh. and that's one of the criteria, honestly. Yeah, it is for me too. You're a public person. Um, like, yeah, we, if we go to a party, I want you to like be able to like hold your own. Exactly. Yeah. I don't want to have to worry about no, you. No, no. So that was part of it, you know? Oh. One of the many many things that make us compatible. Oh, I love it. I love you, Corey. <laughs> this is uh, so cute. Uh, <laughs> okay, I have a sexual compatibility test on my website that I'm going to email it to you. I want both of you to take it so you can start talking about it. Oh, yeah. okay. <laughs> it's a, it's That's called exciting. the Dr. Tara sexual profile quiz. Okay. So you take it, it will tell you your four different like sex personalities. And yeah. he takes it, he, it will tell his. <gasps> it doesn't say like, oh, you're 
compatible or incompatible, but then you'll see your four personalities in sex, and you can talk. Yeah, yeah, I like that. it's a good um. Starter, like point yeah. of conversation. Yeah, I like that. Okay, well, thank you for hanging out with me and take time off from fucking Hollywood. Oh, Dr. Tara, <laughs> I love being here talking about <laughs> orgasms and sex. And yes, definitely check out Jenny Yang's work. She is again New York Magazine comedian to watch. Listen, watch me. And Variety, right? Variety. What did Variety say? Top variety? ten comics to watch. Top ten comics. <laughs> Who else is on this list? All the people. Like, you can look it up. It's yeah. a really great list. V- Variety's top 10 comics to watch. Mm-hmm. Is uh, is Ali Wong on it? She maybe was back in the was, day. Was, yeah. yeah. The, her, her like, what was it, Milk and Milk and Tiger or something? The first, <laughs> the first special? Yeah, no. Ali Wong is an icon. So, yeah. yeah. She's, she's probably been on all the lists. Yes. Oh, but thank you so much for spending time with us. And... Have an orgasmic day. For those of you watching and listening till the end of the episode, thank you so much. I love you. I do this for you. So make sure you like, share, subscribe, comment, send it to all the people you love and you know. Because you know, the more we talk about sex, the more collectively we become more sex positive and we can embrace our sexuality more. So definitely do that. And per usual, have an orgasmic day. Bye. Thanks for listening. This was, this was Love Bites. Love Bites. By Dr. Tara. Follow Dr. Tara on social media at lovebites.co. Have an orgasmic day.